white supremacist groups are becoming bolder in Canada. Whether it's groups like the Soldiers of Odin showing up at anti-racism rallies to assault Black and Indigenous people, a group calling itself the Klan, intimidating worshippers of Canada's oldest mosque in Edmonton, swastikas being put on the memorial of the fallen soldier, groups like Les Mutes in Quebec, uh, or as of September 12th, 2020, a man connected with a neo-Nazi Satanist group, the O9A, slaughtered a man outside the IML mosque in Etobicoke. Let's take, for example, the neo-Nazi group, The Base. This is a group whose name is a direct English translation from Al-Qaeda. The Base had, at one point, a very high degree of infiltration within the Canadian Armed Forces. And members of The Base are armed, they are dangerous, and as we saw in the nationally reported case of Patrick Matthews, were willing and prepared to commit acts of violence domestically and internationally. Or we can look at the Three Percenters. This is a group with a vision of an apocalyptic showdown with the Canadian Muslim community. And one of their members, only a few years ago, shot up a Black Lives Matter rally in Atlanta, killing five. Neither of those groups, the base or the Three Percenters, are banned in Canada today. That needs to change. Mustafa, really appreciate that, that feedback. I think you're bang on. Mr. Singh, my question is, in the endorsement of this national action plan, how, what, what, what do you see your next steps looking like to, to move the dial forward so that we go beyond these words and denunciations and actually dive into the policy implementation? Certainly. Thanks, Mustafa, for the question. I should also say, uh, while we were approached by, by yourself, uh, Mustafa, as a part of NCCM, and, and a number of the groups. Uh, there are many more groups that we wanna meet with and we want to have chats just like this. We responded to the interest that was put out by the groups that are now with us, but there are many more that we wanna chat with about this. This is something that impacts many groups. And as you indicated, uh, 20, over 25 uh, different organizations have, have supported some of these calls to action or all these calls to action. And so I think there is a growing momentum. What I wanna do now is to build on that momentum to really create the movement that, that pushes for real concrete steps to be taken. So we're gonna be using this as a launching pad for a campaign to gain more momentum, to use that to leverage the position we have right now in a minority government to then push the, the liberal government to do something. They've got the power and I've made it really clear. I mean, I've made it clear with the letter that we, that we wrote in support of your calls. Uh, but we're making it clear again. We're going to write another follow-up letter to make it clear if there's any uh, concrete steps that need to be taken, we are prepared to support that legislation to make that happen. The Liberal government needs a partner. We are here ready to make it happen.